Hey what's up guys, I'm really excited about today's video because in this video I'm going to share with you a method using which you will be able to create infinite number of pattern templates. Now I'm not talking metaphorically, you can literally create infinite number of those templates. So if you are interested in that, let's get started. So guys here inside affinity designer i'm going to create a new document and for the size i'm going to choose 1200 by 1200 and uh, i have already explained in one of my previous videos why i'm going to choose and why i usually choose this size so i'm simply going to press create by the way you can also work with the rectangular shape document size and you do not have to use the square but i prefer to work the square size for my repeating patterns so the first thing that I'm going to create as a simple square shape and it does not matter what size because we can adjust it in the transform panel. So in the transform panel I'm going to change the width to let's say 400 and the height to 400 because if I divide 1200 by let's say 3 I get a 400 result. And uh, I have already explained this whole thing in the previous tutorials. So I'll put the link in the iCard above so you can check that out. Why is the why why is my choice for using this you know this size and this document and uh, the whole thing. Anyway, then I'm just going to simply align it at the center, remove any fill color from it, and give it some stroke. Let's say just three points of maybe four point stroke would be fine. And then I'm going to create a vertical line using the pen tool. And at the top, you can use this mode or the other mode, line mode. And uh, I'm just going to choose this line mode and simply press shift key to create a vertical line and then simply align it at the center. Then I'm going to simply press control J to copy it and then simply rotate it horizontally like that to make this plus sign. Then I'm going to just zoom in a little bit you know just lock these two lines that you created because they are going to serve as guide only then i'm going to use this pen tool and uh, now you can create whatever shape you want it does not matter what shape or what how many points or how many round it does not matter let me show you what i mean so i'm just going to you know, put the my cursor at this point and as soon as i get these highlight areas you know the vertical green and the horizontal thread line it means I'm at the cross section of these lines so I'm going to start creating a line here actually I need to choose this mode pen mode so I'm going to start creating a simple line here maybe like that make a point here and then let's say I'm going to create a random shape just it does not matter what shape it is so I have created this shape and I brought it inside here I'm not going to make it too complex but something like and then I'm just going to close it not the close but end it at this point then I'm going to slightly make some adjustment to give it some width and uh, you know to have slight you know area to work with and it totally depends as you can see this is total a random shape it's not something specific no specific geometric shape just some random shape like that and uh, this is looking pretty nice we can always work on it make small tweaks and you know adjust it and um, you know make it uh, to our likeness but that's the whole concept so i our line has this starting point at this location and the end point at this location and that's all we need then i'm going to simply select that curve that i just created press ctrl j to copy it and at the top I'm just going to flip it horizontally like that and then move it in this quadrant like that here and as soon as I get these vertical green and horizontal red lines I'm just going to release it and by the way if you are not seeing those snapping option and it is not snapping uh, make sure that you have these enable snapping checked and all these options checked anyway next I'm going to select this first one that I created press ctrl j to copy it and then move it down like that here in this location and as soon as it snaps let me just position it again as soon as it snaps i'm just going to release it then i'm going to select this one 
press ctrl j to copy it and then move it in this coordinate fourth one like that here and i'm going to release it then we do not need these vertical and horizontal lines so i'm just going to hide it and also i'm going to hide this rectangle shape as well now you can see in the layer spanner we have four separate curve shapes so we need to join them into a single shape so for that purpose i'm just going to use this node tool here and just hover over like that once and then once again to select that point and at the top i'm going to use this option join curves then i'm going to you know click anywhere else beyond the shape and to deselect it then i'm going to select this point or you know select this point again and then join it again deselect everything and then i'm going to select this point and simply join this one as well and the last one at this point and we are going to join this curve as well now we have the whole thing into a single one shape now it's time to convert it into a symbol so i'm going to open a symbols panel and uh, simply select that curve shape let me just name it as basic shape and then i'm going to press create button like that by the way if you are not seeing this symbol you can go to view studio and make sure that this symbols option is checked now we do not need this symbols panel anymore so i'm just going to double click to close it and we have our basic symbol now in order to understand the copies and uh, the fill the rest of the area we need to have something in it so that we can see the you can say orientation of our shape and the easiest way to do it is just simply create an f shape here so i'm using the pen tool and just simply randomly create an f shape like that shift x to fill it with some color and then all i'm going to do is to copy this thing to fill out the rest of the area now i'm going to press ctrl j to copy it and then move that copy in this location and as soon as it snaps i'm just going to leave it like that and then create a copy of this one and move it on the other side like that and as soon as it snaps just release it and then i'm going to select all of these three copies press ctrl j to copy them and then move them up like that and then i'm going to press ctrl j to copy them again but this time i'm just going to move them down to you know fill this area now you can see that we have this area inside it that is currently not filled and in order to do that we are going to simply select top row press ctrl j to copy it and then position it in this location and as soon as it snaps just release it then you can select this one press ctrl j to copy it and move it on the other location like that and then i'm going to select the top row like that press ctrl j to copy it and then move it down like that here in this location similarly i'm going to press ctrl j again and it will copy it in this perfect location and press ctrl j once again to fill out the rest of the area now your template is ready and all you need is fill it with whatever you want but before that i'm going to select this second last symbol here and then press shift key to select the last one and then press ctrl g to group them so that we have a neat you know just neat layers panel to work with now our template is ready and if you have watched my previous tutorials you can um, already know that we can now fill this whole thing with the design and our design will be copied in all the other places so let me just open up one of the previous designs that i created so this was the design that i created earlier and uh, i cannot use this perfectly here because this shape is a little bit different than the one that i created for that pattern but anyway i can use the symbols to demonstrate what i mean so if i select this part press ctrl c to copy it and then all i have to do is go inside that symbol and start creating my pattern in the way i like it you know like that and i can adjust uh, all the shapes all the elements for however i want so i might maybe let's say adjust this position here change its position to this one start creating it so all you have to do is to 
start creating this pattern this design however you feel like and you are not limited to any you know kind of you can say that specific shape or specific geometric shape you can create any kind of shape the basic shape that we have created here you can create it in any style it does not matter the only thing that you need to do is to follow the rules that i have shared with you and uh, that's all there is so you can see that our pattern is being you know copied in all the other areas and the rest of the thing is tutorial is the same as the previous one so i'm not going to focus here on that but at this point i'm going to share with you a tip here so you can see that i have this design element on one side of this whole thing if i want the same elements to be copied on the other side as well because that is a reflection of this side so you can do that as well all you have to do is that select that basic shape or the base shape that you created just create a simple rectangle shape like that and let me just change it to a stroke instead of a fill and then all you have to do is just uh, position it at the center like that and uh, let me just choose the different color so that you can see like that and align it vertically like that and just you know make sure that it just touches that center area and in this one you should touch that area that is this one that is the end point of that one and it is not really necessary and if you touch it like that that would be fine and then make this triangle actually the rectangle a child of that basic shape all right like that so that it's inside there and then select that rectangle shape this one and now you can adjust its position if you want to that's fine either and then you select this rectangle shape go to the symbols and create a new symbol like that and then you can rename this one to be a rectangle or the inside shape let me call it inside or just uh, rename it like put elements inside it so this will help you remember that all you have to do is to put the elements inside this one and it will be copied on the other areas so all you have to do is just select that rectangle let me just remove any kind of fill color and if i put the elements let's say select this whole thing group it together press ctrl c and if i put it above the rectangle and then make this one a child of that rectangle like that i can then simply copy it on the other side so if i select this rectangle shape actually this element this whole element this one they put the elements inside this one so if i just press ctrl j to copy it simply flip it horizontal and then move it on this one and as soon as it snaps like that i'm going to release it so let me hide this group for a moment and uh, this is the rectangle shape so this rectangle this element actually this was the inside symbol that is put it elements inside this you can name it as inside symbol so select this one and then the other one is just a flipped copy of this one so that is just too easy to understand for you and then select that symbol area that you have created and remove any kind of stroke from it and the inside rectangle if it has any kind of stroke color you should remove that as well and you will be able to create the designs whatever however you like so if i just re resize it here so you can see that inside elements are also being copied on the other side and uh, then you can use this basic shape to remove any kind of fill or actually remove any kind of stroke color from that as well so this is the basic shape i'm going to select the stroke color and remove it so that our design is actually does not have that line black line to it so that was just a uh, you can say quick tutorial but if i want to show you the complete uh, pattern that i have already created let me show you that so this is the pattern that i have created using the same method that i showed you so inside the symbols you have two symbols the main one this is the symbol this is the main shape and this one is actually the rectangle that we created later on at the end and if i you just close it so this was the main symbol basic symbol and then this group is actually the copies that i used to fill the rest of the area so if i open this symbol i get this main shape 
that is you can see if I just hide the background so that is the main shape that I created earlier you can see that this main shape is totally different from this main shape basic shape that I have let me just hide this group so this basic shape is like that and this shape that I've created is totally different and inside that main shape I have these two sub symbols that were actually rectangle shapes that I converted into a symbol and then the second one is actually the reflected copy of this basic one and inside that I have put the elements like that here I, I know it might sound confusing to you but if you watch that part again you will be able to understand and if you you know still find it confusing you can ask me in the comments below and I'll try my best to explain it and then I have this background now you can already see that this shape was totally different than this basic shape and you are not limited to these shapes you can create any kind of zigzag line whatever shape you want and you will be able to create interesting patterns unique patterns very easily and you do not have to spend much time on it so guys you saw that how easily you can create infinite number of pattern templates using this method and if you are new to this channel i would suggest you to watch previous videos which I have regarding the pattern templates and the pattern designs so that you can easily understand this whole process and uh, if you have found this video to be helpful and useful make sure that you like the video and let me know in the comments below and if you have any questions any confusion regarding this video or any of my previous videos you can ask me in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer those questions and help you so if you appreciate this effort you can subscribe to this channel as well and uh, hopefully i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching